No allows potentially thousands of users, warfighters, government agencies, and international partners to contribute their expert knowledge to MAPS. It opens up geospatial data to GeoInt producers and consumers who in the past relied on their own limited collection resources and proprietary technologies. GNOME is similar to other crowdsourcing apps, such as those that manage traffic routing, consumer ratings, and map features. It allows users to share relevant information in real time with people who need it most, battlefield commanders, warfighters, analysts, disaster response teams, and more. GNOME offers a dynamically updated foundation layer that is editable by any U.S. service member or trusted partner anywhere in the world. Those edits are immediately available to all GNOME users. For example, a soldier on patrol notices a new gas station in a neighborhood and can automatically add that gas station to the map using GNOME's robust toolkit. That in turn populates the GNOME database so all partners can see the change immediately providing eyesight and awareness for those who may follow. This approach is being used by our coalition forces on a GNOME mapping platform, where everyone, including our partners, work simultaneously to maintain the most accurate foundation data in a living database. One that doesn't rely on traditional product cycles, but on the power of a crowd of partners who share a common set of goals. The beauty of GNOME lies in the simplicity of the tools. They are easy enough for even the novice user to learn quickly. Users can also tag the data, collaborate in specific geographic areas, coalesce the data into a single topographic domain, analyze changes over time, then download it for use on portable devices. The functionality offered by the GNOME is challenging conventional geospatial collection and dissemination methods to reduce costs, accelerate map production, and enhance mission planning and execution. No, it lets you create and discover a whole new world of GeoInt.